Welcome back to the kitchen. You are here with Team Mad Rational in the building once again with me, Mr. Twitch for Life, Arthur Eve, and the mighty Quinn at the table discussing some conspiracy theories today. Yeah. And we also have a new little swag for the kitchen. For the first time, we got a country track called Vice from my girl Brianna Hopson. Hopkins. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, get your girl name right, man. I got it. It's look, yeah. look, 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 yeah. look. Your girl. I was excited. I was excited. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> That's my homie. Charlie Murphy. <laughs> That's my homie. Anyway, from my homie, Brianna Hopkins. Vice. <laughs> I feel like this this show's gonna be real silly. Real dry, real silly. I need music. More music. Y'all been trying to get silly, huh? Let me know when you want silly, man. We all we always want silly, sir. Oh, really? I'll, I'll take y'all as some like we want, you know we professional want silly. guys here. No, you know. Sometimes, sometimes we get real professional when the conversation gets deep. Mm-hmm. Or when I'm trying to like get somebody, I'm trying to surgically remove their head from their gluteus maximus. Right? Mm-hmm. You know I'm saying that's when we get serious. But other times, you know. Yeah. We're just, we just trying to talk. We're just trying to have a conversation. We're trying to bring up some topics, things people talk about. Yeah, I hear you that. You know what I'm saying? Uh, let's see. I'm trying to find your like name. Like things here, that be down like my YouTube channel, talking about like Flat Earth and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> like on a whole nother level, I still don't understand like how people believe the Earth is flat. As I've been told, most of them don't. But the the society is supposed to be a group of people who are just rebelling against the idea that everything that the government mm. or powers that be tell them are true. Yeah, they don't believe true. them. But can we just say that? I mean, I feel like a lot less people would be resistant to the idea yeah, if they said like, it in that I'm way. I'm down for that. Yeah. I mean, they've you know said that, though. People have said that. They they, don't. But, but then no, they have a Flat Earthers convention, like, and they called it the Flat Earthers convention. <laughs> there are real people who, I mean, real people both within and when uh, beyond the hip-hop community that want to believe. B.O.B. we're talking to you. <laughs> they want to believe that the world is... Actually, Kyrie not. Irving, we're talking to you. And I'm about to get y'all a video. Sit down, prove. B.O.B. We're talking about the earth is flat. Get out of here. I'm going to get y'all something good, man. Hold yeah, up. Yeah, yeah. So, so I get that. I get that bit. And that's... that's. But it's a I, dome, bro. I, it's yeah. the Truman Show. But that's... Again, that's... <laughs> it's a big, giant Truman that's, Show. That's your is that group? where we at? That's yeah. your group that want to be like the, the super Christians that want to bring just the Bible into it. Like, but what is? But hey, or add me on Facebook right quick. But the, like the Bible doesn't say the Earth is flat. No, but it talks about the firmament, and I think that's. You say the Bible? Yeah, it doesn't it. say the Earth is flat. But like, okay, what's your what's your last name? Quinn Q U I N. But like, the, well, let's pull up the definition of firmament right quick. Right there. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah, Macho Man. <laughs> Pull up the definition of firmament right fast. What does it say? I can't read it from here. A sphere or world viewed as a collection of people. The heavens or a sky, especially when regarded as a tangible thing. So how is that say? I, I don't I'm not the one who's saying this I, I'm just telling you what I've heard it's firm uh, meant within the Bible Biblioteca in biblical cosmology the firmament is the structure above the atmosphere of the earth conceived as a vast solid dome according to Genesis creative creation narrative Rative. God created the firmament to separate the waters above and the earth from the waters below the earth. So now we're talking about Atlantis. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. What that means. I think the idea is like the the sky that we, as we see it, Jesus. the mm-hmm. sky as we see it is water. Is 
the it's, Atlanteans. Well, no, it's water. <laughs> the water's above. I think the water's below are the water that we can like touch. I think that was the idea because it's both blue and people are stupid. Fuck that. Arthur Curry is Jesus. That's what he said. I'm just playing. I'm just playing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm being retarded. <laughs> But yeah, the waters above. Yeah, being being the reflection, I and I can understand that bit. So if we have to go to that length <laughs> to explain, mm-hmm. oh yeah, no, it's it's, it's <clears throat> it is crazy. I won't say crazy, just dumb, dumb eight people. We are dumb eight people. Yeah. At the end of the day. The stuff that we will learn in the next 20, 30, 40 years Mm -hmm. will make us now look like dumb eight people. Does a dome have to be like a half sphere? Does it have to be? Or can it be a full sphere that that covers something or encompasses something? Do you want me to define a dome? Yeah, absolutely. (laughs) I'm breaking this down. Rounded vault forming the roof. Of a building or structure, typically with a circular base. Hmm. What's the next definition? What is that? So full. A thing shaped like a dome. Oh, 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 we got real specific on that one. Okay, define dome with thing shaped like a dome. Isn't that like <laughs> the one thing they told you in like elementary school not to do is to define a word with a word? Yeah. <laughs> Like that doesn't show understanding. That's, That's what my teacher used to say. What, what it do doesn't show it? understanding. It's circular defining. It's one of the, it's one of those logical fallacies, like ad vitorum, that they all have like a Greek name or a Latin name. I'm like against like all conspiracy theories. Of course, I mean I don't believe any of them. I believe them. I believe but, some of them. Some of them. I, I mean I, I like I like to play with the ideas of them. I like I like things like I, um, feel you. I like to try to put them together. Time travel and. Yeah. Paradoxes and shit like that. That's stuff I like. Like the idea that uh, deja vu is a memory of the future. Yeah, man, you 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 <laughs> fucked me up with that earlier. <laughs> and then then Lance came back with some other, some even deeper. <laughs> what, what, what were you guys saying? Uh, what, what was my comment? Let me I pull said. that up. So it was it was pretty good. <laughs> it makes him I think way too early. <laughs> What if we weren't created in the beginning? What if we were created in the future? And we are all a result of in of an infinite causality loop where we were created in the future. All right, first of all, punctuation. Cause that was super hard to read. My bad. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, no, that shit fucked me up. And then Lance comes back and says what if we were created on Mars and sent to Earth for terraforming because Mars was dying the way Earth is now? Then I thought about this, and I didn't put it in there because I was at the gym when I typed all that. But I put it in there, I was like, in my head, that would explain better why the measurements of the pyramids are so exact. You could, definitely. Wait, read that again. One more time. Uh oh. Which brain on fire? Which which one? The one you just read. The last one. Yeah. What if we were created on Mars and sent to Earth for terraforming because Mars was dying the way Earth is now? Fatality. <laughs> Interesting. I like what you said about the pyramids. All right, all right. See you going there. I don't know. You know, you know what I was thinking about though. So, have you ever played the game uh, Le- Legacy of Kane: Soul Reaver Two? Okay, so the whole the whole point of the game is this idea that history is a paradox. So, like uh, the Soul Reaver, his name is uh, Raziel. He is a he's like he was a vamp. He, like, first, he was a vampire hunter. Then he was turned into a vampire, and then he was killed and transformed by a demon god into a soul a soul reaver like so he instead of drinking blood he drinks souls right so it's like boom 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 however he goes into this uh this like time machine 
where as the soul reaver he meets himself as the vampire hunter and he kills himself like he kills him as the vampire hunter mm -hmm. and then Cain raises him from the dead as a vampire and the whole idea was like history abhors a paradox so he he was the reason he became him mm -hmm. that's deep mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and that's <laughs> what I was like it's like what if we're the result of a just a causality loop like we're getting to the point in in technology where next 20 years we'll be doing stuff like that It sounds to me like some played, Elon Musk. I played way too many video games. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. <laughs> well, like, we're, we're <laughs> like Titanfall. Elon Musk thinks we're in a like a Matrix-like simulation uh -huh. where we've gotten to the paramount of our of our innovative innovative abilities, uh -huh. and so instead of pushing farther the way that we do now, destroying the planet, we yeah. instead create structures that can hold people in stasis in like a virtual reality type of uh simulated reality <sighs> at which place we go back to the beginning of civilization to relive where we're at and in this l like multiple level like inception simulation matrix like mm -hmm. thing he actually believes that. Yeah, well, that's because Elon Musk is privileged enough in his intelligence to be able to create shit like that. <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? Like, the people sure. working at the Lucky Dog stand don't think like that's that. That's kind of the, that's kind of the idea. Though. <laughs> they don't have time to think like right. that. It's kind of it's kind of that same. I mean, we get distracted easily idea. when we try to get deep. Then we get distracted by our real life. Right. The real world. Right. <laughs> Got to go to work. Right. Exactly. So. Unless you pop a little acid and then you're <laughs> this See, guy. <laughs> the reason for drugs. It, that's why it they're really illegal. Is. It's escape. You know? I mean, that's what. That's why drugs get so addictive. Cause so many people use it as a way to escape. That's 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 where the mental addiction, the non-chemical addiction, comes from. Mm -hmm. Is that you get used to the drug as an escape from reality. And then the chemical bit comes along and just keeps you in that, in that loop. Yeah. But I thought of that with no drugs. But imagine it with drugs. Mm -mm. <laughs> I'm playing. Mm -mm. <laughs> I mean, mm -mm. weed isn't a drug. I mean, well, it just it grows like that. It's and legal. if you just happen to oh, set it on fire, <laughs> awesome effects. Exactly. You know. Yeah. But drugs, it's drugs you got to do house. shit to it chemically. Bake it so the water, stir it up. I don't know the recipe. I'm just saying. True. It's it's all it's that all is true. It comes from the earth. They they all come from the earth. No, nah, but you had those chemicals beat it up. Are from the earth. Mm -mm. Not all of them. Where where did they come from? <laughs> I, don't know. I don't know. I think the the GMO. difference is the GMO. idea. Our idea, well, that's also from the earth. <laughs> the idea of like a drug versus like the improper way we use it is that if it affects your mind, if it's a outside substance that affects your mind, it's or it affects your body in some way, it's a drug. But we think of it as being some kind of like chemically created something. The only difference between the two is that the chemically created thing tends to be synthesized in a way that its effects are far greater on your mind or body than the natural version. Mm -hmm. So you have like, uh, is it cocoa leaf? Mm -hmm. And then you have crack cocaine. And one is one is a natural plant, and the other mm -hmm. one comes from a natural plant, but it's far more, uh, what's, the, what's the opposite? Concentrated. Concentrated. I was going to say the opposite is diluted, but concentrated. It's concentrated into a form that can totally fuck up your mind and body and all that mm -hmm. that's the only that's the only difference but that's the wrong way to use the word drug the yeah. right way is it doesn't get to your body i mean tobacco nicotine uh alcohol uh 
crack cocaine, marijuana, sugar. sugar those are all drugs. They're all mm-hmm. drugs. Mm-hmm. Carbohydrates. Everything's a drug. In a way, yeah. yeah. Just hurting your body. Damaging. No. <laughs> no. I mean, we're getting deep. Drugs, man. <laughs> Maybe you should tone it about the drugs. <laughs> <laughs> they're not. They're Cut not bad. It's just people use. I'm. I'm on board with legalizing all the drugs and letting, <laughs> letting Darwin figure the rest out. Yeah. Because I think in the long run, in the in the long run, we would be okay. better off. You get nudes on your phone on your watch. <laughs> well, I agree with you on that. We live in a world. I don't know, I don't know if it should watch. be legal, but I feel like people should be able to get help and not just go to jail for yeah. doing drugs. You know what I mean? Well, that's what so many of the other. I mean, I won't say so many other countries. I know I've heard of other countries completely legalizing everything, mm-hmm. and yes, they have. Especially initially, they have a higher rate of people, you know, engaging in things and mm-hmm. that. But then it eventually drops off because it's not like a taboo thing. Yeah. And then they can start creating um, programs for people who want to stop doing the drugs. Yeah. Like if somebody's doing heroin here, they're not going to tell anybody until they're dead or dying. Yeah. Whereas in one of these countries where it's legalized, they'll they'll bring it up, and at that point they can get their help don't feel early. And it's punishment by it or something. Yeah, you're, you're not going to get punished yeah. for doing something that's legal. So See, and I think that's the direction we should take. Yeah. Hundred yeah. percent. I mean, yeah, there there will always be stupid, but I mean fireworks are legal and people still stick them up their butt cracks. Yeah. Like that's <laughs> there are stupid people, there will always be stupid people. Yeah. We can't we can't protect everybody. I support letting the stupid people do unto themselves. Yeah. They're gonna find a way I to do, do it some way. And that's why I say it, you should just be able to get those people help. Exactly. Don't don't put them in jail. No. 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 I, ideally, they wouldn't die no. either. I, I'm, exactly. I should I should be very straight about that. I just don't think that they should be able to make decisions that affect a larger number of people. Oh yeah. 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 But with that idea comes another that if we're not going to allow them to make decisions that affect other people, we then have to tag them as stupid. Of course. (laughs) Stupid and foolish. Then we have to create a a stupid registry. Kind of like X-Men, right? (laughs) 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 But who says who's stupid? See, that's, that's where you get the some, problem. That's where you get some, right? In X Men, who's abnormal? The people who are evolving naturally, or the people who aren't? Yeah, yeah. How do you guys feel about the purge? <laughs> like the the one day you just get to, to yeah, just pillage. Yeah. So, because I'm know not it's jacked up, but I get the idea. About I'd be the first person good. to die. I you know? appreciate the idea. <laughs> no, you check this out. You protect yourself. You be ready. You got all year to plan for it. You know? Yeah, but then that's all you're planning for all year is not to die it's, on this one day. Yeah. I'm good. Yeah, no. I'm good. But if you're a good person, <laughs> you're good. But, so there's there's this thing. Yeah, but then I, stupid people. <laughs> I don't remember what country it's in. It, for, for some reason, my head is Portugal, but I don't remember what country it is. Your but shaped like Portugal? For a week. <laughs> for a week. They kind of have this like open, um, like fight club thing, mm-hmm. and they it's like open invite anybody from town can come to this place yeah, and just, just fight it. each other for a week. And during that week, everybody gets their hostility out in a legal way. Nobody's getting mm-hmm. killed. I mean, it's there. They have medics there, but it's all in like a contained area. Yeah. And there is no crime in that city, country, whatever, for that week. There is no crime. Oh. Only for that week. Only for that week, but that's because uh, that's Cause pe- they, people have a place uh, to go watch to, like, the fight. To, yeah, let their <laughs> you know hostility and stuff go out. 
So I get the, I, I feel like the purge is kind of that idea, like your frustrations from the year build to that point. Nah, However, it's worse than that. Yeah, like, like, purge, like, like you just kind of brought up for that week, but it's only for that week. Cause yeah. after that crime happens again, we are not a short term or we're not a long term creature by any means. Mm -hmm. Like we have one purge, but then within a day, somebody else is going to want to kill somebody. Nah, but you go to jail, they lock you up, or you get to die. I like the purge in a way. <laughs> yeah. In a way. Why do you just want to hurt people? I don't want to hurt people, but, you know. <laughs> I always thought about that movie, man. It's just like, man, what if it really was mm -mm -mm. a day you can really just go get that person? Somebody who's just, like, they got to go. I mean, I know one person. <laughs> I think you and I can agree. <laughs> They gotta go. They gotta go. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> because I mean, you ever met somebody that's just—I don't want to say useless, but useless. A tons. Like why? Why kill them? Because now there are because evil they're in, people because they're world. because they're in your they're literally in your way. But I I wouldn't yeah. I wouldn't get him in the purge. I wouldn't. <laughs> I wouldn't. This is why I don't need to purge, because that would be my reasoning. Look, Brandon, he, first he's, he's talking about, he's nah, there. man, I got to hide inside, but he going to be the one out there then like, oh, I got to go get he's him. He's over here premeditating. <laughs> <laughs> I got to get him. Brandon, what you did on the purge now? You was inside? Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah I was yeah. just chilling. <laughs> but nah, I don't know. He comes to work the next day and he's just tired. <laughs> or happy. <laughs> Tired but big old girl on his face. I'm exhausted. Hey. <laughs> the purge. We got an opening. Yeah, no, I'm not I'm not pro purge. I'm not either. And that's why I'm not, that's also why like I think I'm I kinda shy away from the conspiracy theories. Mm -hmm. They scare you a little bit? No. I scare me. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, they 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 open your mind up to the potentials. Like, like there's so many things like in, in, in the course of a day I don't say out loud. You know what I mean? And like, mm -hmm. yeah, you're a normal person. No, 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 no. I know you like to think yourself as being special, but I can guarantee. Look, just because you're just as special as me, doesn't mean I'm not special too. But they say, you know, with conspiracy theories. The government coined it the name conspiracy theories to make those people seem crazy, you know. But what if this stuff, like, for instance, how y'all feel about, okay, the moon landings? Y'all believe that was real or fake? It's, it's real. Really think it was real? Yeah. That one I'm on the fence about because like, they don't have, nothing. we don't have the technology available right now to be able to do it again so i don't think we they lost it. it like that's real they lost the technology that they used to get to the moon yes. and then at the time did they have the ability to record footage and send it back like that's like we really think waves. about it but there was footage yeah it's just radio waves nah. that's all it is it's just radio waves there was live. It was just radio waves. Live. There was live footage. Yeah, hmm? with the there was steps. Live footage. Yeah, but but it was how many how many minutes latency? I, I have no idea. But that's a, I mean, we can try to throw. But I'm just saying it's it. just radio waves. I get that, but like, but I don't. We don't. We can't do that now. What do you, why but not? we did it back then. But we did it back then. That's why what I'm saying. Like all we, of that technology. They we, say we haven't figured it, some, it no, we just can, disappeared. Yeah. yeah. Like there's we a lost. YouTube channel right now where you can look at the space station live. Right. But yeah. So it's really not goes? the same technology. It's no. A different, no, newer it's, technology. Yeah, it is. But but they don't have the old technology. But it's but gone. TV was a real thing back then. Yes, but that right. was a different type of thing. Sure, but it was all it, still radio waves. Right, but it's a different. I'm talking about the specific technology that was used then is gone. Okay, so just because it's different now, how does that mean it didn't exist? But if, like it's gone. <laughs> That's the point. Like the specific technology used gone. to build the pyramids is gone too, but they're still here. Yes, 
that's that's why people talk about aliens in the first place is because okay. we don't understand it. It's right. Just because we don't understand it doesn't mean it didn't also, happen. Also. The pyramids True. were done how many thousands of years ago? True, it's a much it's a much bigger stretch. Which I, I, you know, that, but that's that's what I'm saying. Like I I can understand the conspiracy. I also mm. want to believe that there was a moon landing. However, I can also I understand it was fake. It was fake. where the where the conspiracy came comes from. I, I can I can understand it. I mean, it was fake. Uh, uh, okay. All right. Let me give you another one. Let me give you another one. He has a list over there. You know, 9-11. What about 9-11? Do you think that was a cover-up? They said it was a conspiracy theory. Cover-up for what? I don't know. I mean... Okay, so we got to know what... We got We got to okay. have a theory on what we're covering okay. up. Okay, all right. Do you believe a plane crashed into the building and then the building collapsed because of the plane? I believe a plane crashed into the building. Mm-hmm. I don't know enough about. I, I think so. I think so. So I mean, uh, the plane crashes into the middle of the building, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. No, nah, it was more toward the top. Okay. Mm-hmm. So then you have a cascading failure to the bottom. Not necessarily. But it was a controlled implosion. I think yeah. that was where so many of the like. I think they said steel from. melts it like. They've already they've already debunked that. Oh really? Yeah. yeah. So that's a. Yeah. Well, so there's there's still other levels to it because mm-hmm. there's there is definitely footage of one of the planes disappearing before it hits the building. Yeah. That's real. I mean, I totally believe that it happened, mm-hmm. but I think there are some. There were other motives to it. I don't, I don't know about motives. I just think there are some things that have not been shared from that from that mm-hmm. event. Okay. And some things that have been fabricated to support ideas. That being said. Anybody who perpetuated that thing are humans, and humans are inherently dumb. Mm -hmm. And Mm -hmm. so there isn't, we don't have the ability to, like the idea of some big, like, governmental conspiracy that's hiding something massive. Mm -hmm. I don't believe that. I think the government's hiding, like, like details hide in there. Yeah, Like a global cabal. Yeah, no, no, no. I definitely believe in that. I just think I definitely believe in that. It's fine, but it's a cabal of a bunch of stupid people because <laughs> we are still humans. There are no humans that are that much removed from normal society. Mm-hmm. What, what if they're not that much removed from normal society? And they're just normal, regular, stupid yeah, individually. people. Yeah. But then there's a group that can function outside what do we, of that. What do we know about groups? Uh, yeah, but it depends on the size of the group. Right? Hey, y'all want more? Okay. All right. Which, why are y'all speaking on groups? Secret societies control the world. Yeah, for sure. All right. Okay. For sure. Like, kind of. No, for sure. I don't think there's like. I know. I mean, I know there's secret societies. Mm-hmm. However, I don't think they control the world the way that like have their fingers in every little oh, I like so. thing. No, I, I think it's a. I think it's a series of con- controlled influences. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, like Coca-Cola, sure. I mean, it's, it's marketing. It's marketing on, like, on a right. massive level. Do I think it's like cloak and dagger and shadows? No, absolutely not. Do I think it's like pastel, you know, th- thick glasses and high socks? Absolutely. Okay. <laughs> All right. People in people in places you can see easily. What about aliens? Yeah, for sure. I believe in aliens. Yeah. Aliens. Yeah, uh-huh. I'm a, I'm a Trekkie, bro. Okay. <laughs> However, if there are aliens, they have been here. We have already Before had us. in in interactions with them, and just don't know it. Mm-hmm. I agree. We had interactions with them in the future. <laughs> Next. Okay. Let's see. Let me get you another. One. All right, Jesus and Mary Magdalene. What about it? They saying it's fake. Hey, I'm just going down the list, man. You know, I, I'm just. I don't. Uh, I don't. Know. I don't know the relevance, though. <laughs> <laughs> like, I don't. I mean, that's kind of that's kind <laughs> of like Merlin and King Arthur. 
Okay. All right. I, well, I feel like there's some there's some real world connection to that, but but they are also a series of mythologies and stories. Okay. Like I just I just don't know like so what what would be the what would be the thing we're covering up? It's kind of like the flat flat Earth theory. Like who benefits from that? You know what I'm saying? Like <laughs> yeah, because it's conspiracy. In my okay, in my opinion, a conspiracy only exists for another for some party to benefit, mm-hmm. right? Or to show the benefit of someone else that that party doesn't want you to see. Yeah, that's actually more so the second, I think. Yeah, it literally means that two or more parties are conspiring. Right, but I'm talking about the like the flip the flip idea of it. Like, yeah. so who's benefiting? There doesn't have to be a benefiting. I mean. I but, think it always got to be a benefit. Yeah, like why put that from, put forth that much shit, effort to hide something? People do stupid shit just because. So like you don't believe we, in a global cabal, but you believe people, people are just doing stupid. Regular people do stupid always. shit just because. Always. Oh. But <laughs> I don't think that goes together. I just They're, think I just think people, people are always going to look for something to do, something to, I mean, the, 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 uh, whatever they would get out of it can be completely just self all right for example um bank robbers bank um no no forgers forgers Mm -hmm. they will forge something and they'll hide their initials in it just so they can say i forged that but you know why well yeah for their own for their own (laughs) self-satisfaction but it's a little bit deeper than that because at their core they're not forgers they're artists Sure. And artists require credit. That, that that's the theory. Yeah. 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 One hundred percent. But that's that's what I'm saying. Like that the the benefit of any of these conspiracies could be something on that level. Mm-hmm. Something just is like some guy had this created this massive conspiracy, and then on his deathbed says, "By the way, I faked it all." Mm-hmm. I believe it when he says it and can prove it. But that, that's 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 the conspiracy, and that's the benefit. Like that's the benefit, the, yeah. we're still stupid monkey or stupid apes. I don't we're buy still it. dumb creatures. Yeah, I don't buy it. Right. I totally, I totally. That's yeah. I got another one cool. for you. Yeah, okay. What about chemtrails? <sighs> what about chemtrails? So I don't buy it either. <laughs> chem, the, what we see is chemtrails. <laughs> <laughs> Chemical, I don't want to get into this. biological so, agents. It is the it is the <laughs> moisture from the air condensating on the engines mm-hmm. and creating a vapor. There are trails of water vapor, mm-hmm. and are, that's what's coming from the planes. That's what is seen on the planes. But the engines are extremely hot, mm-hmm. which means that water creates condensation on them, and when that condensation then heats up again towards the back of the plane, towards the mm-hmm. back of the engines, it creates a vapor trail. Okay. All right. Yeah, that's just normal. I mean, they're creating clouds. They're just... Okay. I just... I don't buy the fact that somebody looked up in the sky and was like, oh, yeah, it's definitely chemicals. Like, oh, I totally buy that. No, no, again, no. I mean, stupid humans. No, no, no. I, that's, <laughs> I, I said that. I said that incorrectly. <laughs> I don't, I don't, I don't buy what he's saying. Like, I know somebody looked up in the sky and was like, "That's definitely chemicals." I don't buy it. Like, the, the, the chem- I'm like, seriously, like, mm-hmm. any anybody who has like a basic understanding of of physics or the weather, well, can understand like what that is. Yeah, but how many people have a basic understanding of uh, chemistry I mean, and weather? I mean, that's like chemistry and physics in high school, though. I mean, you did. Great. I was in public school though. I was in private school. Again, you did, and you understand it, which is great. A lot of people don't. Mm-hmm. I mean, a lot of people think the I, Earth I is just, flat. I don't want to believe there's that many. That, a lot of people many, like <laughs> ill-informed people. Like I just don't want to believe it. A lot of people think that you can measure the flat Earth with a ruler. <laughs> Stop. I saw a video where a guy <laughs> had like a a ball on a plate. I swear it was something weird. <laughs> did, you, did you see the dude with the ball on the sidewalk? Like he pushed the ball on the sidewalk and it didn't roll. He's like, see, it's flat. That For might real? have been the one I'm talking about. It was I was something. Like, I was like, oh, God. 
Look, I'm kind of in the middle on the round of flat earth, and he just ruined it for me. I was like, then, come on, man. I then can't. you had to do with the weather balloon that didn't go as high as an airplane. <laughs> and I'm like. Oh, the one that one guy that shot himself in a rocket. Yeah, he went like 70. Yeah, but like you can go to New York and go in a <laughs> building higher than he got. Yeah. You go to one in New Orleans. <laughs> Jeez, right, you're man. right. <laughs> but Jesus. a rocket, though? A rocket. I think he had to like eject. Yeah, he went like two miles up. <laughs> <laughs> and, then he, and then he about died. Wait, no, no, wait. He didn't get. He didn't get two miles. How, how far did he get? Look he, that was, up he was high, but he got fucked. I think up he got like twelve hundred feet. <laughs> yeah. By the way, this guy doesn't believe in the fat, flat Earth theory. He doesn't. No. Ah. No, 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 no. He's just a. He's one of those people that needed a, a, a crowdfunding source for his for his steam rocket. And so he used the flat earthers to to uh, fund his steam rocket. <laughs> smart, that's yeah, smart like man. it's it's genius. So that's the thing about that. Again, that's the thing about conspiracy is that somebody benefits even if it's not from it's it's from the conspiracy, but it's from like an ancillary, like mm -hmm. from the side. Somebody's like, I'm gonna make take advantage of these people. Yeah, think. for sure. Yeah, I think that's also a very real thing. Yeah, he almost killed himself too. Yeah, he almost twice. Killed himself. Stupid ass. <laughs> Quarter mile. Yeah. I mean, power to him, great. He yeah, did. but he could have just gone in the elevator. That wasn't the point. You're right. <laughs> it's you're right because it really was about a steam powered rocket. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, I didn't know he was in a flat earther like that. Now I kind of respect him more, <laughs> even though he is still a stupid. Yeah, he almost killed himself. He's still a dumbass. But yeah. he's a dumbass for a different reason. But now. I thought we got past like steam powered stuff. We realized that like oh never. <laughs> and there's still people who do the steam steampunk. And they still dress up Jesus. steampunk. I love it. I love it. <laughs> Jesus. Jesus. If I could get away with it with my dignity, I would. <laughs> but I can't because it's goofy. Abercrombie and steam. Oh, I got another good one for you. <laughs> mm -hmm. Crop circles. But that's, didn't, didn't that's we already like? Interesting. But didn't we already debunk that with like the the dudes back in like the fifties or whatever with the with the boards of wood and the strings? I don't know. Wasn't don't know. that like a thing? I don't think so. Like in the cornfields, they were making these making these circles to bring attention to their cornfields and like make money and stuff. Like wasn't that a thing? Yeah, I totally believe that. Yeah. Again, it's people doing something stupid for okay. their own benefit. So that, that's the humans, right? Yeah. yeah. All right. Not aliens. No. 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 With their fancy technology. No, because how much sense would that Zap make? something in there. Maybe they, Some people say that they're sending signals. It's a different coding in the language, and they're trying to speak. Just going off, you know, whatever it, you know. It's like they're telling us something. But only the few, which the, I think is the elite. The, the, cra the crazies can pick it up? <laughs> the elite. They can so, read it. So only in our cornfields? I and think the cornfields are just an area where they can actually, you know, do the. So why don't the I've seen some massive lawns they can draw stuff in? I'm just saying. Why don't the cornfield things exist around the world? Why know. is that? Why is it only in <laughs> like know. the U.S. Like Northwest U.S. <laughs> in the in the Midwest? <laughs> Midwest yeah. yeah. <laughs> I mean, maybe that's just me. Maybe, maybe there was like some like Machu Picchu, like because right. pyramids crop exist mm -hmm. on. Circles. Between every continent around the world, yeah, yeah, no, yeah, for sure, no, yeah, pyramids, yeah, or some form of ziggurats. So there's some in North America. Well, in Central America, I said between the continents. Pyramids, because you know I mean? the because the clusters over, like uh, North Africa. You see what I'm saying? I mean that's that's right in between Africa, Africa, Europe, you know, Asia, right? And then you got the ones in Central America between you know North and South America. Yeah, okay. that's what I'm saying. Like they exist between the continents and every part of the world. Like the only places would be like Antarctica and, they, they and Australia. In it's three definitely places something in, in Antarctica, right? But I, I get what you're saying. Yeah, yeah, I'm saying there's just you have to fly around the world to see all of them. Sure, sure. You got to go to one place to see these crop circles. <laughs> <That is accurate. laughs> oh, come on now. 
It's true though. Because <laughs> nobody, on. nobody's seen, nobody's seen or That's spoken a, about an alien. Guy, huh? Like yeah. No, nobody's spoken about an alien before the idea of the alien was invented here in the United States. <laughs> But maybe what if it wasn't invented? Maybe what if it's true? What if it's true? I mean, it and then people just totally labeled the guy. Look, you're crazy. Whatever, you know. We do that That's all why, the time. We do that. I mean, Gal- I know, Galileo right. was crazy. Newton was crazy. Einstein was crazy. Trump's crazy. We elected him president. <laughs> He's an alien. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm just He's not an alien. illegal one. He's a. Li- <laughs> He builds a wall around those. See, so here's the thing about Trump: is that everything he can do, everything he's got, everything he's achieved, is is uh, explainable. Like aliens don't explain anything that he's ever done. It can be completely oh, explainable. I was with totally. Yeah. Joking. Oh yeah, no, I know. I'm saying, yeah. but I'm saying, like, again, that idea of like the higher powers and like. Well, they say they're actually agencies. called reptilians. The higher powers called reptilians. reptilians. I'm gonna need them to sit down. <laughs> <laughs> they say there's an old reptilian uh, species. I totally believe that there's a there's a group of like seven individuals that sit behind sit around a table with translators because they don't all speak the same language. They have a global agenda, but I do not believe oh, they're oh, reptilians. Yeah. No. I'm trying to look more up for you guys right here. They say they are among us. Blood drinking, flesh eating, shape shifting reptilians. Where? And their goal is to enslave the human race. Is that on the National Enquirer by chance? Uh, let's see. <laughs> this on is, the front page of Newsweek. No, nah, this is on Bing. <laughs> uh, it's Time Magazine. See, your first your first mistake was going to Bing. <laughs> <laughs> hey man, I got windows. <laughs> <laughs> We, we all know. Bing. <laughs> Hold up. All right. All right. Google, Google doesn't better, perpetuate so I, that shit. Right. Oh, you using you over here with the right. with the Microsoft. Right. Yeah, man. <laughs> I, yeah. I Hold on. I get it. I get you something better. Hold up. Hold okay. Okay. Hold up. I'm excited. Yeah. <laughs> Speaking of crop circles, we, we've got this country track to to review today. What does that have to do with crops, though? Like, like country music <laughs> doesn't really like it does, <laughs> doesn't <laughs> exist in that, in that. born and raised in is, do, do they have country music there that's that's where it comes from no where? it doesn't the country where that's not where country music comes from it comes from <laughs> nashville come from? no country music doesn't come from nashville either i don't know i just problem. feel like it just country comes music nashville. like definitely comes from like the texas california area it was invented by by uh by like mexicans and and black people <laughs> who were working on the farms they were ranchers they were they were farmhands. They were taking care of cows, right? But in like that area, not like where's Nebraska? Oh, it, oh. <laughs> there's no crop circles he in Nebraska. Me. He got me. <laughs> there's no oh, crop circles in Nebraska. Says uh, old Jimmy Rogers and the Carter family out of Bristol, Tennessee. Bristol, Tennessee. The Carter family, like we're talking about Jay Z and Beyonce. Oh nah, just looks like a white guy here. Why is every like famous? Anything related to a Carter? Hey, okay. conspiracy. Because out in Bristol, name? Tennessee. I don't know. So it actually snips. didn't come from too far south. It's know? like the the new millennial Rockefellers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hence, Rock Nation. The Rockefellers. Boom. Yeah. They actually have somebody, one of the elite. Rockefeller. Rick. Rockefeller. Oh. Rockefeller Rick. Brianna, you know you're my homie. And I told you I was going to do this. <laughs> I was going to put your song on my show. Because the song is dope. I just didn't know the name of it. <laughs> um, but for everybody out there who doesn't know, um, Brianna is somebody I went to school with. She is an amazing vocalist. I have watched her win karaoke competitions time and time again in some of the strangest places but she's dope and i always told you you had the potential to do something crazy with your voice and you did it and now we're about to listen to your single called vice here it is 
Steady as a needle dropping on a vinyl Neon single with a jukebox title full of heartbreak 33, 45, 78 When it hurts this good you gotta play it twice Another vice Was dope though. Country Ooh, music's not country music's not my, my like my fave type of music. Bree, you know that. Like you know, I've sat in the studio before with you and some guy with a with a little with a little guitar banjo thing that sits on your lap and stuff. I don't remember what it's called. That was a real weird session. I'm sorry, fellas. Oh, it's all great. Sometimes life be calling, <laughs> right? Life be life be ring a and yeah. you're stuck in the vice. <laughs> Between reality and your phone, that was a good song though. That was a pretty good dope. song. I I can appreciate the little bits of uh, synthesizer that was added in there to add depth mm-hmm. to to the to the string instruments. I can I'm appreciate that. Certainly would have mixed the drums differently. Think so. Mm-hmm. 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 Bree, your voice was crisp though. Did a good job with the recording on the voice. Yeah. It was it was good. I just would have done the drums differently. I know it's country music, but there wasn't enough pop in the snare. 
It just wasn't. There wasn't enough snare in the snare. Mm-hmm. More snare in the snare. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's a real that's a real recommendation. Really? Yeah. Oh, okay. That's not a joke. Uh, I right. need more snare in the snare. So yeah, I don't know that music talk. So like when you um you got a drum, right? So the the top part of the drum mm-hmm. for the drum and like uh bongos and toms pretty much i mean now they're made out of different stuff but in in the beginning their original creation it was pretty much the same same idea what makes the snare the snare is the metal snares that sit on the bottom Mm -hmm. of the actual snare drum itself so when you hit it it cracks Mm -hmm. so when i'm like we need more snare in the snare we're talking about the crack sound that makes the snare pop yeah i can hear it Mm actually right now because you can tighten them or loosen them depending on what you know what, Mm -hmm. what sound you're going for um, and then in jazz music, they they kind of do something different because you have the um, the brushes. So they play with the brushes, and then you have the, the brush sound with the snare yeah. when it hits, and it, it sounds different. I was just going to ask, is this a brush? It sounds like a brush mallet. I need you to turn it up. Yeah, that's a brush mallet. Hmm. It's just a loose snare. Mm-mm. They're tapping the the um the the hat pedal at the same time they hit the snare every time. It's probably what you're hearing. No, I can't tell anything. Because the rhythm is being kept by the by the uh, the hat. Yeah. Well, uh, I just I just can't hit the brush on the hi hat. So they'd be using two different sticks if that were if it were the case. But they're not. So yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-mm. So loosen air and then the, the hat yeah. pedal keeping the rhythm. And then they're to their and what's throwing it off is they're hitting because they're not hitting the, the the hat pedal with the stick. It's the it's just the pedal, snare and a tom. Wait, what? So the hat, the snare and the tom is being hit at the same time. The hat and the snare and the tom are being hit at the same time. Mm-hmm. What? And as soon as you turn it up to listen to it. it well, no, I mean, somebody's hit definitely hitting the hi hat. Mm, that's, that's just the pedal. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but that's happened after the pedal. Well, the, the pedal's being used. Yeah. I'm not saying that. I'm saying, well, but somebody's was... tapping on the hi hat too. Yeah, but the, the pedal's being hit with the snare. Like it's being closed with the snare. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay, that's I see what, what you're saying. saying. Yeah, yeah. The, the rhythm is being kept by the by the pedal itself, right. not not the. But that that's what confused me is you said oh. somebody's hitting the, yeah. the tom. Yeah, because you can have the sticks here and the pedal comes down. Yeah. See what I'm saying? So the pedal closes the hat. With the, with the I, I, I see the what tongue. you're saying. Yeah. yeah. Hey, that boy broke that thing down. Okay. You just confused me in the way that you were saying that. <laughs> I was like, well, I hear the hi-hat. And he's like, no, there's no hi-hat. Wait, what? I was talking about the... the in that one specific hit. Yeah. I got what you're saying. Yeah. Yeah, I was going to say, okay. That, that's, what, <laughs> that's what confused me. You were talking about one, one hit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One, one beat. Yeah, not the whole song. Not the whole song. No. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but I, I would have, I would have separated that up a little bit. But the thing about it is, like, when you mix in country music and stuff, like country music, much more natural, natural sounding music. It's it's less interpreted mixing and more just direct direct mixing, right? You're gonna put the instruments where they would appear on stage, basically, when you're listening to them. Yeah. To them and all the drums go in the center, you know. But uh, oh, I just would have done the snare so different. See, I don't mind it actually. I think it. You think it fits? It fits. Oh, well, you know, it's each turn. If you if you heard it when I did it, because I would have changed some other things to make it make it work. If you would have heard it, because I I can hear my mix a little bit. 
because you're special. I, what? <sighs> I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry. I do weird stuff like that. That's why earlier when we were watching, was it Bo Burnham? Mm-hmm. It yeah. was really hard for me to hear what he was talking about. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, By who? the way, if you haven't, check out the newest Bo Burnham special comedy. <laughs> he's a he's an he's an entertainer in every way. It's pretty Performer. good. It's pretty good. I don't have any idea what he's talking about, but it's pretty good. <laughs> you caught the kind of bit though. That bit was. It was. It was, it was done very, really, very, really very well. well. However. It was done in the style of like 808s and Heartbreaks, not really Yeezus, but whatever. But that's Have you seen his like his shows now? That's it. That's He still does that. Really? Now. Oh, that's unfortunate. Yeah. 20 minutes and then he'll go on a rant about mm-hmm. Trump or about... Beyonce. Yeah, I guess. Yeah. Hey, if I... Um if I send you a video, can you like play it on there so y'all can see if it's yeah. on Facebook? Yeah. Uh, but anyway, Bree, dope track. Um, like I said, I knew you was doing gonna do some amazing things with your voice, and you kind of gave me the story of like what happened and all that stuff, and that story was pretty cool. Um, so, like, if I remember correctly. I don't have the thing in front of me, so I may I may be wrong. We'll correct it later. Um, but she was like, like somebody. She did a, a a mix of of something. Like she sang something, and then somebody sent it to some um, to a radio station, and they played it on like the UK radio station mm-hmm. over and over and over and over and over. And then she was contacted by this engineer, and I can't remember the name. We'll put the name on the screen, and it the the engineer for this one is a Grammy award winning engineer. And um, like pulled her in the studio and was like, "Yo, we gotta record you." Like it was, it was just crazy. Yeah, it's one of those like dream happenings. You know what I'm saying? Hmm. And she's local, like from no, Soto. No, 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 no. She's from Ro- Rhode Island. Yeah, from <laughs> from Rhode Island. Lives in Florida, and um, she's pretty. Uh, she's pretty awesome. Pretty awesome what she does. Hmm. Well, I can tell. Great voice. Who's that? Art distract, distracting everybody. Yeah. Like, yeah. Just waiting for that video. (laughs) Hmm? Just waiting for that video. What video? He's going to send me a video. Hold on. So we're just going to wait. All things, all things considered, it's a, it's a trophy for me. I don't know what that is. Oh, that's your, (laughs) your girl? Thanks for, thanks for starting that off, bro. Um, no, most, most certainly, most certainly a trophy for me. Voice is crisp. Mix is good, you know what I'm saying, and of course, I know what's coming, what's coming from you, and I know they're gonna bring out the best of you in that studio. So keep doing what you're doing. I love it. What do you think, Mr. Rudy, the Mighty Quinn? I mean, like I said, wonderful voice. I mean, you definitely killed it. I can see why you're a professional. I mean, I give it a, I say a nine out of ten. Mm. Nine out of ten. Only you're because on, I'm not like a kitchen. country music. <laughs> you're in the fan. kitchen. We do trash your trophy, sir. Oh my bad. Oh my bad. I forgot. This is on like my second time. So I it's give it a trophy. It's technically definitely a trophy. Time. It's <laughs> technically your fourth time on the show. My bad. It's, your, it's a trophy. It's it's his fourth time on the show, <laughs> and he clings to ten points rather than two. <laughs> this is amazing. I got you. Respect. So trophies, trophies, trophies yeah, all it's, around. It's a trophy all around. So trophy all around because we did exactly what we do every time we listen to a track. We listen to it. We discuss all aspects of it. And then we vote on it. Trash or trophy. And you, Miss Bree, have got the trophy vote unanimously. Yes. Yes. What the fuck are we watching? fuck is this what is this <laughs> what is scary this? <laughs> oh yeah what? oh yeah man. 
Okay. Can you feel Jesus? Oh, your yeah. soul? This takes you over. Which soul? <laughs> <laughs> I've seen this happen one time, and it freaked me the <laughs> fuck out. <laughs> Look, I'm not here to critique whatever way you want to appreciate or praise, but... Praise the Lord. Like, <laughs> I'm sorry, but I'm also, I'm not going to say that act like it ain't funny. That's <laughs> oh, funny. I kind of wish they just played jungle music on every, in every church feel like people, Why? people really reach for the sky feel reach for feel, the sky feel the power of the load in this soul thank you guys for joining us again here at the kitchen we love having stupid silly conversations <laughs> because sometimes that's what you need that you need to get through the day because the world is a grim dark stupid place sometimes and every now and then you got flies in your eyes doing I don't know why that, that fly was there. I don't, I don't have any idea. Anyway, if you like this video, hit the like button. If you want to see more, go ahead and hit the subscribe button, right? And make sure you hit the bell next to the subscribe button so that when we drop the videos, you get the notifications on the front of your phone, right? Mm. It makes it real important. It makes us feel important too. <laughs> we out. <laughs> <laughs> I'll get you next time. Get it? <laughs> <laughs> um. Anyway, bro, you sounded just like the <laughs> <laughs> expected gadget. <laughs> kind of spooky. <laughs> <laughs> just saying. It's been years since I did that way. I saw that one.